welcome back to the third installment of the Blue Line Bass Club uh, Choke Canyon uh, Tournament. And I wanted to welcome you. I'm Shane Logan. And this is uh, day two. We're running to uh, our starting spot. We had a, a fairly early takeoff. Uh, we had been reversed from the day before. And so I'm running... Uh, through the woods and trees trying to get to the back of a creek. Um, my thought process was uh, with the water conditions the way they were and the pressure the lake had um, down on the main lake, um, this probably would be, be our best option to possibly catch a big fish or to get one or two good fish in the boat early. I didn't really want to spend a, a lot of time in this area, but I did want to go run it get to it and fish a small stretch and just before I got there uh, to where our, our little sweet spot was I kind of made a on the fly decision to stop short and give this little area that I'd pre-fished the day before a shot just because the grass looks good the water's fairly similar to uh, you know what we were catching our fish in yesterday and you know, gave it a shot. I talk a little bit about uh, making decisions on the water and I guess the importance of uh, going left or right, so to speak. And in this instance, um, I was more uh, concerned about the fishing pressure. I think uh, Saturday there were three tournaments going on in the lake. There was a pre-fishing event for a high school tournament that was coming down the following week and so there's a lot of traffic on the lake and in this back area I only saw one other boat uh, the day before and they were really trying to get out of there um, more than they were fishing so I thought since I had a couple of good fish before that this would be a good option and uh, of course you'll see as the day progresses uh, it didn't pan out the way that I anticipated it. But again, we worked hard at it, and um, I think that the, the day will kind of play itself out, and you'll see. But again, I appreciate you watching. Um, like always, if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm going to hopefully be posting uh, tournaments and pre-fishing, and of course just in general uh, fishing, fishing topics, and I'm going to try to focus a little bit on, uh, you know, new people who are new to tournaments, uh, young, young people who want to get into tournaments, high school kids who want to fish tournaments, and um, see what I can do to help out. Again, thanks for watching. So here you're going to not have any volume, and you'll know why in just a second. But you're also going to see uh, something that I talked about in the previous video, something that you notice that we continually do over and over again that kind of messes with my day. And here you go. Yeah, this is a big fish. It's something that we really needed and would have gone a long way on a day like today. kind of know something's going on, I move my feet, and when I bend over to help her, bam, comes loose. So we had been struggling all the day before, just fighting with that uh, net. We keep setting it down next to that hook, and I, I don't know why my brain is flustered right now. Uh, again, that fish is anywhere between three and five pounds, and it really is what we need uh, to start the day. We're struggling already. We've been fishing for about 45 minutes and not, uh, not had a good bite. And this is the sweet spot in this area. Of course, Judy's hung up. Um, I get the bait off. We uh, work through this. We decide, you know, let's uh, slow down a little bit. I get some baits changed. So she's throwing a a monster I had or kind of throwing a worm hoping to get a different bite but I change it back up to the chatterbait 
That way she's got a spinner bait and a chatter bait to throw so we can keep moving around this area. And you notice today there's no wind. Uh, that's important. The, it's cloudy, uh, overcast in the morning, and uh, the wind direction is completely different. Uh, again, the reason I chose to come back here is because the fishing pressure on the main lake. And some of the factors that will affect fishing are the direction the wind's blowing, sunlight, uh, cloud cover, of course, the fishing pressure from other fishermen. Uh, and so those are things that you need to think about and things that we think about when we're uh, game planning or figuring out a tournament. It can also change the direction of how you spend your day or where you spend your day. Um, again, I think it's funny that uh, we keep putting that net right back in that spot where it gets snagged and it causes us on a couple of occasions to uh, not be able to pick it up and focus on getting the fish in the net while I'm focusing on fighting the fish. So again, it's just a little thing. It, it helps you if, you're, if you do the same thing or if you find yourself wrapped up in other details of the tournament. Uh, sometimes it's best just to sit down take a drink, maybe eat something, uh, and get your head right. So as we're working this area back, uh, we, I told you there was really no other fishing pressure. I didn't see any other boats back there uh, either day at the getting close to about now. Um, you know, we had a competitor that we were uh, fishing against that had talked to me the day before and said, yeah, he'd probably be back there at some point. And he did. We saw him idling back in the channel. And of course, this channel's only maybe two and a half foot deeper than the rest of the water out in front of me. And so he idled back and he later explained to me uh, after weighing that he was able to pull, you know, three good fish. And of course he explained to me that he was throwing uh, a wacky rig around the uh, base of the trees. And it makes a lot of sense that there were fish that were back there spawning or fish that were back there um, garden fry or doing you know what they do after they spawn even in the post spawn realm uh, you know there's a good chance you're going to wind up catching those uh, stressed fish easier with that wacky rig or a nico rig um, and of course with judy that probably that nico rig is probably the best um, because the hook's not exposed and of course it's easy for her to flip around and if it gets hung up it's not that big a deal to get off um, but again I'm getting ready to change up a little bit. I throw on a uh, buzz bait, and buzz bait's usually pulling a pretty decent sized fish, especially this time of year. And I wind up uh, connecting after a few casts, and it's a good fish, but um, just another keeper it would have been, and it kind of comes unbuttoned. Uh, so the day isn't working out the way I'd anticipated or planned, but that's how it goes sometimes in fishing. Always got to be ready for the fish to jump on your bait and execute. That's all right. Oh, you got off. Hey, buzz bait.
I'm gonna swing him. Good job. Another solid keeper, or another keeper? Oh yeah, it's 14. Man, I'm so glad I took that swing. Hey, okay. it's 14 and a quarter. Maybe not a keeper. All right, so I kind of spent a little too much time up in this area. Um, made some decisions uh, early on that I was like, yeah, it's thought that's where I would have my best shot at uh, catching a fish. And of course, we didn't. I think we uh, lost one, a good fish and um, one non-keeper and then we just struggled to uh, you know to get a good bite um, the wind wasn't blowing it was overcast and uh, it's a short day on a two-day tournament that Sunday is usually till one o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon it's not a very long day so I had to figure out what to do and of course my I, I thought for sure if I go back out to the main lake I'd be able to run into uh, you know, three or four swimmers and get my five fish limit. That, that was the goal. So as we're heading out, I'm um, running, there's boat lanes. And if you know Choke Canyon, uh, you know there's several areas that are just thick with woods, trees. And once I get in the lane, I know I'm in the boat lane um, or the pipeline, I'm hauling. And so that's why it looks a little different. If you don't know the lake, I wouldn't suggest you do this. But I come across somebody fishing in the boat lane. So I think it's uh, fair game. Fishing, you should be able to fish anywhere on the lake you want to. But the uh, big question I have is, should you shut down and idle through where they're fishing? Or should you just keep running? I think it's always uh, best to be or err on the side of uh, helping somebody out and shutting down for, you know, prior to getting on them, shutting down enough so where your wake doesn't disturb them and where you're not driving right over the top of where they're fishing. Uh, I think that's good sportsmanship or good etiquette. Uh, if you got a different opinion, please let me know in the comments section. And, you know, I, I don't think either one of them is necessarily right or wrong. Uh, maybe I also believe if you're fishing in a boat lane, you probably should have the expectation that uh, boats are going to be coming by you. So I shut down for this guy. I knew he was uh, dragging. It looked like he had an anchor out too. So I was like, I don't want to really jack him up and screw his day, <laughs> even though ours isn't going well. Uh, we don't get any more camera footage after this. My camera overheats, and I probably overheated as well. Uh, I think we wound up having three or four fish. And when we got back up to the main lake, the same people that were up there when we were catching fish, they just hammered that place. Uh, and so I think those fish were pretty much beat up. Uh, well, we wound up in 11th place overall, uh, not the way we wanted to show. And I think if we would have caught the fish that, uh, that you know, we weren't able to get in the boat there, there's a good possibility we could have moved up and been in the top three or four at least. We had a great time. I love fishing with this organization. I love fishing this lake and love fishing with my wife. I appreciate you watching uh, the video if you watch this long. Um, hopefully next time you watch a video you won't see my net getting caught up in my <laughs> in my rod strap hook. But again, thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and if you have any recommendations for me in the future or for future videos, please let me know in the comments section. Thanks a lot. Good fishing and fish on.